We begin in the United States where Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump launched a barrage of attacks against his new Democratic rival Kamala Harris on Wednesday. During a rally in North Carolina, the GOP presidential nominee called the vice president a radical left lunatic. This after Kamala Harris began her election bid for the White House. If Kamala Harris gets in, she would be the most radical far left extremist ever to occupy the White House times 10. There's never been a lunatic like this in the White House. And we've had some bad ones. So now they bring in this one who's worse than him. She's worse than him because he's a fake liberal. You know, he wasn't that liberal. He was fake. She's a real liberal. She really is a real liberal. She's much worse than him. The 59-year-old vice president became the presumptive presidential nominee of the Democratic Party after President Joe Biden dropped out of the race and endorsed her as his successor. President Biden's historic decision made 78-year-old Donald Trump now the oldest presidential nominee in American history. And on Wednesday, the former president claimed that Kamala Harris was in favor of the execution of babies due to her stance on abortion rights. Crazy person. When you compare my position on abortion to that of Kamala Harris, my position is eight points higher in the polls, and that's because she is so radical. She wants abortions in the eighth and ninth month of pregnancy. That's fine with her, right up until birth, and even after birth, the execution of a baby, because that's not abortion, that's the execution of a baby. She supports taxpayer funds to pay for abortion for any reason whatsoever. She even voted against legislation that would require medical providers to give care to babies born alive after an attempted abortion. Think of that one. In his aggressive speech, Donald Trump also accused Kamala Harris of opening up borders and allowing 20 million migrants, who we called aliens, to enter illegally. Kamala voted in favor of deadly sanctuary cities. She supports decriminalizing illegal border crossings, and she supports mass amnesty for all illegals. Think of that. Everybody coming in right now. And many of these people are coming out of the prisons and the mental institutions. They're going to get amnesty. She wants everybody to have amnesty. Then Joe Biden made her the border czar, and that's when it really got bad. She launched a colossal illegal alien invasion of a country. She, she said, come on in, remember? As borders are, Kamala threw open our borders and allowed 20 million illegal aliens to stampede into our country from all over the world. The former president said that he would terminate every single open border policy of the Biden-Harris administration and that he would also seal the borders immediately to quote unquote stop Kamala Harris invasion. The ex-president also mentioned a poll claiming that Kamala Harris was rated the worst vice president before adding that he had never actually seen the poll. So now we have a new victim to defeat, Lion Kamala Harris, Lion, L-Y-I-N apostrophe. <laughs> the most incompetent and far left vice president in American history. By the way, they did a poll she was rated the worst vice president in history. I've never seen that poll before, but that's the poll. And the Republican presidential nominee did not stop there, further accusing the vice president of perpetrating a scandal by covering up President Biden's health issues. In addition to her horrendous record as vice president, Kamala Harris has also been caught red-handed perpetrating the biggest scandal in American political history. For three and a half years, Harris shamelessly lied to the public to cover up Joe Biden's mental unfitness, claiming that Crooked Joe was at the absolute top of his game. I don't think so. Now the White House has denied covering up any possible decline in President Biden's health before its decision to withdraw from his reelection bid. Now with Kamala Harris' candidacy stirring enthusiasm within the Democratic Party and polls giving her a slight edge over Donald Trump, the race for the White House appears to be heading toward a neck-and-neck -neck conclusion. Across continents, one powerful news source.
bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the 